Hey YouTube, Cage here, and I want to talk to you today about my lathe. I have the Harbor Freight 10x18 mini lathe. It's been a great lathe for me as a beginner to learn on. Uh, the only big complaint I have about it is the ability to change the speed. It's on a belt system, so if I want to go from turning to finishing, I have to physically change the belt, and it's just a pain. So what I want to do is I want to try to um, circumvent that. What I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take this router speed controller and see if it will control the speed of my lathe. And uh, to test it, I'm going to use this digital tachometer, which uses an infrared light to read the RPMs. That way I can get a real-time um, determination if uh, it's actually having any effect. So enough blathering, let's get started. Alright, so I set up the lathe so it's on the second highest setting. It should be about 2100 RPMs. Let's go ahead and give it a test here and see how it goes and that'll be our baseline. So I know the first number is kind of messed up but it looks like it's 2137 pretty consistently. So that'll be a good baseline and that'll allow us to see if we actually change the speed using this uh, device. Alright, so I've got the thing unboxed and I've read the instructions and basically all I need to do is plug this end of the outlet, plug the lathe into this and it should be good to go. So let's go ahead and test that theory and see how, what our results are. And that's it. It should be set up. So let's give it a go. Alright, so I set this up so everybody can see what's going on and what I'm doing in real time. If this works out, I will not have it set up like this for obvious safety reasons. But uh, I put it on low. I put it on the lowest setting and it did nothing. So I put it about all the way up to low. And uh, let's give it a go on here and see if it works out. Okay, so that's giving me a reading of about... 250 RPMs. I don't know if that's super useful. Uh, let's turn it up to medium and see if that helps out. Okay, that looks like it's about 600 RPMs. So that's pretty good. I could, I could finish on that. Let's see if I can get it to about a thousand. Okay, so that just made it go all the way back up to top speed. So it looks like about 600 is all I'm going to be able to control this to. Well, you win some, you lose some. That looks like it was a mixed result. You know, I can get down to about 600 RPMs and control it to there. So I can do some some finishing, some polishing, um, but. I'd really like to be able to control it anywhere, you know, within the scope. I'd like to be able to hit 500 RPMs. I'd like to be able to hit, uh, you know, 2200 RPMs if that's what I need. Uh, if anybody has any suggestions about how I can control the speed of this lathe without having to change the belts every time, I'd really appreciate you leaving me a comment down there. Um, and until next time, have a great day.